Hi, my name is Cartier Bales. I serve in Mission to the World as the Senior Director of Field Operations, where I have the privilege of leading and serving our missionaries in more than 80 countries. And hearing their stories of how God is advancing his kingdom as they strive side by side for the faith of the gospel all around the world. The Apostle Paul wrote that a clear sign of our salvation is our boldness in the midst of opposition and suffering. When my wife and I served with MTW in South Asia, every national pastor I worked with had either been threatened with physical harm or had actually uh, suffered beatings. One pastor received a visit from one of these nationalist groups one day and was told, if you preach this Sunday, uh, we are going to beat you, so you better not preach. He showed up on Sunday anyway and preached, and that church continued to grow under his pastoral leadership. Though they continued to threaten him, he remained faithful to his pastoral calling. And the Lord continued to bless that church and bring new people in attendance on Sundays. Even today, I often hear similar stories from pastors imprisoned in East Asia to Christian workers persecuted in the Middle East to Christians ostracized and marginalized even in the West. From all around the world where God has granted suffering and at the same time, uses that suffering to extend his church. As Tertullian wrote, we multiply when you reap us. The blood of Christians is seed. Or as Paul might write, the suffering and standing firm of Christians is seed. The world sees our confidence in the hope of the gospel and sees that most clearly in our suffering. Of course, a new kind of pain has swept the earth through the COVID pandemic. I'm thankful for the responses that I see by so many missionaries serving around the world and for the creativity God is giving them in finding new ways to reach an anxious world with our certain hope in the gospel. I hear stories of services that have gone online now that are being attended by many more people that ever came on a Sunday. One pastor told me that a thousand people were virtually attend attending their church services from another country, one that is a majority in Muslim country. One pastor in Australia told me about just purchasing a coffee machine, putting it in the church and opening the door for one-on-one -on -one disciple making conversations for those who drop in. Another has begun daily online devotions to an increasing audience. While the world suffers from this pandemic, the hope of God's people shows up in the confidence they have in holding out the same hope to a frightened world. And God is blessing in many, many ways. Persecuted pastors in Asia have long told me, don't pray that God will stop the persecution. Instead, pray that he will make a stand in the face of it. I pray that our current sufferings, however they come, will reveal our hope in the gospel to a frightened world, that they may also believe and hope.